Hello, welcome to your class today. I'm Katja. Today we have the foam roller to work with. We're going to do a nice class that works the whole body and we're going to use this most of the time. I also have two light weights, they're one kilogram each. Now if you don't have weights, you can use two bottles of water, or two cans, or you can even do that first part when we're using the weights without weights. I also have a blanket and a block for later for head support. Again, you can use anything. You can use a blanket, a cushion, two cushions. You could even use a book, okay? Make sure you have something so that you can support your neck later on when we need it. So let's begin. We're going to place the roller lengthwise on our mat and we start lying on it. So sit at the front of the roller and then lie yourself slowly down. Rest your arms down beside you. Make sure that your head is still on the roller so you're really well supported. Stretch your arms down beside your body. Our legs are bent with our feet hip distance apart. And just to begin, we're going to just find our balance and settle onto the roller. It's a little bit more wobbly here. Take a gentle deep breath in. And then exhale to help us arrive on the roller and find our balance. We'll do some small pelvic rocks. Inhale, release the tailbone down. You may arch your back a little bit if your lower back is happy with this. Exhale, just very gently imprint the lower back into the roller. Tailbone scoops up gently. Inhale, release. Exhale, gently rock. Inhale, relax the pelvis down. And exhale, curve. Let's do one more here. Inhale, release. A little bit like a massage for your lower back as well. And release. Good. Now arrive in your neutral position. So your pelvis is nice and relaxed. There might be a small gap under your lower back due to your natural curve in your lower spine. When you feel steady and ready, you may grab your weights or your water bottles or your cans if you use these. And we start by bringing the arms over the chest, round arms with your elbows pointing to the side. Try and keep your shoulders drawing down the back of your ribcage. Inhale, open the arms out nice and wide. Exhale, close. We inhale, open. Feeling the chest nice and broad. Exhale, close. We inhale, open our arms. Exhale, we're closing. Keep drawing your shoulder blades down your back. Keep pointing the elbows nice and wide out to the side. A couple more here. Open the arms out and close and open and close. Now extend the arms fully, turn your palms facing forwards and then widen the hands to the right and left. Now as you inhale, bend the elbows as if they're coming towards the mat, to the floor. Your hands are aligned right above the elbows and then press the hands all the way straight up. We inhale to bend the elbows Exhale, push the arms up, straighten your arms. Inhale, bend. Exhale, push. You can always pretend your weights are even heavier. Create your own resistance. Breathe in and breathe out. Inhale. Exhale. Breathe in. Breathe out. Try and keep your body as still as possible on the roller. So already using your abdominals, drawing the abdominals in nice and flat. Now reach the arms forwards beside your body. We go close to the floor but not yet resting on the floor and float the arms back up. Again, let's inhale to lower. Exhale, lift. Inhale, lower. Exhale, lift. Keep your chin very slightly down so the back of the neck is nice and long. 
If you find your head is tipping back, you're feeling strain in your neck, you can put a towel, a blanket under your head. Two more here. Breathe in and breathe out. Now turn the palms facing towards each other again. Your hands are shoulder distance apart. Breathe in, breathe out into scissor arms. Nice and controlled, take one arm back and one arm forwards beside your body. Inhale your arms, meeting over the chest. Exhale, change. Good, now keep checking that your spine doesn't change. You're keeping that neutral alignment. You're moving the arms at the shoulders. Inhale, exhale, switch. Breathe in, breathe out, reach. Inhale, exhale, reach. Inhale, and exhale. One last one to make it even, right and left. And change, good. Coming back into that round position that we had right at the beginning. So as if you're holding a big ball right above your chest. Now to challenge our balance, we're going to inhale to prepare. And then this time as you exhale, can you open your right arm only? Try not to wobble or shift on your roller. Inhale, close the arm. Exhale, open your left arm. Notice how perhaps your knees want to sway a little bit to compensate for the arm movement. Try and avoid that. We open the arm using our abdominals and close. And opening, abdominals really strong and close. Good, let's do two more on each side and close. Keep checking those shoulders, don't hike up to your ears and close. Last one on each side. Brilliant. Turn your palms facing forwards. Now we're going to do a lovely big circle. Take your arms forwards. Then turn your palms up to the sky. Big circle with your arms all the way back. Control it, control it. Take care of your shoulders and bring the arms all the way down through the center. Lower the arms down. Palms up. Open the arms out to the side. If it hurts your shoulders, reduce the size of the circle. Make the circle a little bit smaller or maybe even putting the weights down if you're using them and do the circle without the weights. All the way to the center. Let's reverse. Take your arms back behind you. Lovely big circle. When your arms are close beside you, spin the palms down to the mat. Inhale, stretch your arms up and back. Exhale, big circle all the way around. Last one. Inhale and exhale. Good. From here, we can put our weights, whatever you're using, your water bottles, your cans, to the side. Good. Give your arms a rest. Rest your arms down beside you. Inhaling here. Exhale. We'll come back to our small pelvic curves. And this time you are lifting your hips up off the roller. Press down into the feet. Inhale here. Exhale. Imagine vertebrae by vertebrae, like a bicycle chain. You're peeling your spine down onto that roller. You're lengthening your spine along it. Inhale, release. Exhale, roll slowly back up again. Pause. And slowly on your next exhale, peel the spine back down. And let's do one more pelvic tilt here. So slowly rolling your pelvis back up again. Grounding into your feet. Inhale at the top. Exhale, lengthen your spine all the way slowly down. Tailbone reaches forwards along the roller. Now from here, interlace your hands behind your head. We're going to support our head, breathe in. 
and then breathe out, slowly lift your head and chest forwards. It's a very small abdominal curve. Inhale, lower back down. Exhale, flattening your abdominals, curling forwards, gazing towards your knees. Inhale, lower back down. Exhale, again, curl. Inhale, release down. Exhale, curl. We stay forwards, look down towards your legs. Again, the aim is to keep our bodies, keep the roller as still as possible. Inhale. Exhale, can you open your right knee to the right side, minimizing any shift on the roller. Inhale, bring your knee back up to parallel. Exhale, open your left knee. And notice one side might be a little bit more wobbly than the other. Inhale, close. Exhale, your right side opens. The inhale, you're closing your leg. Exhale, left knee opens. Close the knee. Lower your head all the way back down. Take a nice deep breath in here. Exhale, ready. We're going to repeat. Support your head. Elbows slightly forwards. Curl your head and chest forwards. Let's begin with our left leg. Inhale to center yourself. Exhale. Stabilize using your abdominals. Open your left knee. Inhale, close it. Exhale, open your right knee. Inhale, close it. And your left knee opens. Inhale, left knee to the center. Exhale, right knee opens. Inhale, knee to the center. Lower your head all the way back down. Rest your arms down beside you. Good. Inhaling here. Now as you exhale, using the abdominals once more to help with your balance, to keep yourself as steady and stable as possible. We're going to pick up the right leg together with your left arm reaching to the sky. Inhale at the top. Exhale, place your foot down. Inhale to prepare. Exhale, change sides. Lift your left leg together with your right arm. Notice perhaps how much or how little you're leaning into the arm that's resting on the floor. Placing your foot and hand back down. Inhale. Exhale from the abdominals. Try and keep your balance. Lift up your right leg and left arm. Keeping the shoulders anchored down your back. Slowly down. Breathe in. And breathe out. Left leg and right arm. Again, we might have one side that's a little bit more challenging than the other. Rest assured, you're not alone. That's pretty normal. One more time. Right leg, left arm. And lower down. And exhale, left leg and right arm. And slowly down. Keeping your feet on the mat, reach both arms back. And take another big circle with the arms, opening out wide, all the way down beside you. Well done. From here, we can carefully roll ourselves off the roller. And then bring yourself all the way up to sitting. Now, we're going to position our roller horizontally underneath our back. Good. Now, I'm going to grab my block and my, my blanket. For later, in a moment, we will use this as our head support. So you might want to position your cushion, whatever you have, also at the top of your mat. Now, position the roller under your upper back, across your shoulder blades. Take your hands behind your head, lift up your hips, and then a few times, really nice, just rolling that upper back along your roller, massaging it. You can keep your elbows out wide, or you may bring your elbows slightly in. Play around with it so it should feel really nice for the upper back, your shoulders, all the way into the neck. Good. Now eventually we find a position where the roller is across our shoulder blades. And now this is when you're leaning back, you want to have your support there. So maybe make any adjustments if it's not under your head. So you've got that support to rest into. 
we're going to get quite a nice stretch across the front of the body. Now we inhale here. And then as you exhale, supporting your head, slowly bring your head and chest forwards. So another version of abdominal curves, but this time with a roller under your back in a horizontal position. Inhale, stretch back over the roller. Exhale, curling forwards. Three more, inhale, lower. Exhale, curl. Flatten the tummy. There's no need for you to tuck your pelvis. Just keep your pelvis in a relaxed position. Inhale, stretch back. Exhale, curl. Inhale, lower. Exhale, curl. Stretch back. This time, as you curl forwards, float up your right leg. Turn your chest towards that right leg. Inhale, foot down. Release down towards your head support. Release over the roller. Exhale, curl forwards. Left knee comes in towards your chest. Inhale, release. We exhale, working the obliques. Inhale, lower. And exhale. Inhale, lower. Curl to the right leg. Left shoulder to right knee. Inhale, down. And exhale. Lower back down. Curl up straight forwards. Keep your feet on the mat. Now we can see our legs. Stretch out your right leg and stretch out your left leg. Good. We can check that we're nice and straight and we're going to squeeze our legs together. From here, reach your arms forwards towards your toes. Lower yourself down and then hopefully there is enough head support for your head to rest on. So make sure your neck is comfortable. Inhale, exhale, reach with your fingertips forwards, lift the head, curl yourself off the roller. Flex your feet and very gently stretch forwards over your legs into a C curve, drawing the abdominals back. Breathe in here, breathe out, point the toes, roll straight back down. The roller is waiting for you. Stretch all the way back. Lovely big stretch. Lengthening the front body. Inhale. Exhale. Arms. Head, chest. Roll yourself up. We flex the feet. Scoop the belly back and stretch forwards over the legs. And then rolling yourself all the way down. Reach out long through the toes. Your body is really long. Stretch it back. Inhale. Two more times. Exhale. Rolling up with control. Now, if you find you're warming up, you're getting a little bit loose, so you might catch your toes and you might like to draw yourself in a little bit more. And down we roll again. Keeping it flowing. Inhale, stretch. Exhale. Arms, head, chest. Roll it up. Reaching over those legs. And roll all the way back down. Good. This was our last one. We're going to bring our arms down beside the body. Bend your knees. And then very slowly, let's support the head for a moment. Hands under the head. Roll forwards until the roller ends up under your neck. So you can shuffle your feet slightly forwards. And then super gently, we're just going to roll our head very gently, side to side. Really easy. No forcing. It's nice and gentle. Lovely. Good. Carefully remove the roller from underneath you. Good. And then I'm going to just push myself up a little bit on the mat. Now you could still use your cushion, maybe just one, just a flat support under your head. Okay. Now the roller now travels down and it goes right under our pelvis. So right across your sacrum. You want to feel comfortable on it. And for sure you don't want to feel that it starts to push out and roll out. If that's the case, make sure you just adjust it and push it back up, okay? So when you have the roller 
nice and straight under your pelvis, pick up your right leg and the left leg. Good. Now you should feel really nice supported and you can feel that you can connect with your abdominals. Your lower back should be comfortable here. Now we're going to bicycle legs. A lovely big bicycle moves, extending the legs out forwards. We're going to just inhale and exhale. Nice and easy, not holding our breath. You are working your legs here, but yes, we're still focusing on using our center, drawing the abdominals in. Good, and now let's try this pattern reversed. We're cycling backwards. So for most of us, this is a little bit more challenging to coordinate. Sometimes one leg doesn't quite want to do the same as the other leg. So just notice, just becoming aware. Good, and then we'll bring both legs together, squeezing the legs together, double leg lowering, inhale, exhale, lowering both legs forwards and down. Inhale, bring your legs back up. Exhale, lower your legs forwards and down, good. We only go as far as we're not Letting go of that center, we're not pulling on our back. Inhale, lift. Exhale, lower. Inhale, legs up. Exhale, lower. Try and keep an ease, easeful sensation across your shoulders and neck. It's not, not that easy to do, but try. Last one. Good. Now this next one takes us into circles. We're going to lower the legs forwards, circle the legs out to the side and bring the legs all the way around. We can flex the feet on the way down, turning your legs out all the way opening and around and down. Get a nice inner thigh stretch and around, lower and opening and around good we try and reverse it open flex your feet squeeze the inner thighs together up through the center and opening flex reach out long through your heels and bring your legs up two more Good, then bend your knees in towards the chest. Yes, if you felt your roller has shifted, it's not in the right place, please do adjust it. Now keep the legs bent. Our hands can hold the roller. We'll take the knees over gently towards the left. A little bit of a massage and bring your knees back. And take your knees over towards the right side. Keep your shoulders anchored and bring them back. One more time to the left and center and to the right and center well done so i'm going to just push my roll up a little bit now let's come down so we've got one more exercise with our legs up so legs back up so now we're going to if you feel secure on the roller you can take hold of your top leg and we can stretch it a little bit and then we switch and we can stretch and we can reach that bottom all the way, stretch the top leg and stretch and pull the top leg and stretch and stretch. Good. Next time, hug the left knee in, bending your left leg. And now we're going to place more emphasis on lengthening across the front of your right hip. So stretching your right leg away. If you sit a lot throughout the day, this is a really lovely one to do. If you don't have a roller, you can use anything else underneath your back. You can roll up a towel or blanket to create that little bit of height to stretch out. And then we switch sides. Right leg comes in, left leg stretching out long. Now I sometimes open my bent knee a little bit to the side, then I feel I can just access that left hip flexor stretch a little bit more. So 
Feel free to move your right knee a little bit sideways or keep it in close, wherever it works for you. Now we bring ourselves all the way to the center. Both feet come all the way down. Now press into the feet, lift your hips off that roller and slowly, slowly push the roller forward so it's out from underneath you. Lower yourself down. That feels nice. Just take a moment, feeling your pelvis settling. Good. Now we can roll the roller underneath our calves. And whilst we're allowing our back to arrive on the mat fully now, it's a really nice calf massage that we can add in here. And just having the roller under your calves, you can find a place where you feel it's doing you good. You're rocking your legs. You can even press down a little bit, depending how strong you like the sensation of the digging in of the roller. Good. Now we'll bring the roller in so that we can have our legs bent and our knees together. Good. Let's just check that the roller is nice and straight. Okay. Open your arms out wide into a T shape. Squeeze your feet and your legs together. Inhale. Exhale. Take your knees to your right as far as comfortable. Keeping your left shoulder blade on the mat. Your left hip, your left waist, and even your ribs have come off the mat now. Inhale here. Exhale, draw the abdominals in, knees come up. And shift your knees over to the other side. Inhale. Exhale, center, knees up to the center, over to the right. Breathe in. Breathe out, center over to the left. A really nice rotation now for our lower backs and middle backs. To the right. Inhale. Exhale, come back. Over to the left. And we come back to the center. Now separate your feet to hip distance and make sure you've got your roller right under your arch of your foot. So you have really good, nice grip onto the roller. Bring your arms along beside your body. Inhale, exhale. We're going to repeat our pelvic tilts. But having the roller there is a little bit more challenging. We're gonna really feel those hamstrings and glutes working now. Keep the roller nice and steady in place. Breathe in. Breathe out, slowly roll back down. Inhale, relax, sit down, release. Exhale, ready, roll back up. Now, if you find you're getting a cramp, don't suffer, just come out of it, stretch your leg and then join in again. Hold it, breathe in. Breathe out, peel slowly down. Do really good work strengthening for our hamstrings and our glutes. One more time. Inhale. Exhale. Rolling the pelvis back up again. Now you can just stay and breathe here. Or add a challenge. Inhale. Push the roller a few inches away. Exhale. Bring the feet closer towards your seat again. Inhale. Push the roller a little bit away. Exhale, roll it back in. One more time. Inhale. And exhale. Pause here. Lift those hips up nice and high. And roll slowly back down. Good. Now before we do this last one, we're going to give our legs a tiny break. Stretch your legs out. The roller most likely ends up under your ankles. Inhale, take your arms up and back. Exhale, lifting the hand for a moment. Challenge your roll up, roll yourself up. Flex your feet and stretch over your legs. You will stretch your calves and hamstrings, all the muscles that you've just been working. And then we we'll roll ourselves all the way back down. Bending your knees, roll the roller back in, feet on top of the roller. One last set of pelvic tilts. Inhale, exhale, roll yourself up again. 
Keep the roller nice and close now. We're not moving the roller now. Inhale. Exhale. See if you can lift your right leg up. Holding yourself up on that left side. Inhale. Place your foot down. Exhale. Pick up the other leg. Now, if this is too much, you just stay with both feet on the roller, holding the roller in place and breathe. And switch. Lift. And down. And lift. And down. Here's your last one. Lift. And down. Press into both feet. Lift your hips up one more time. This time, take your arms all the way up and back already. Stretch them overhead. Roll yourself slowly all the way down. Again, let the legs go. Stretch them out. Roll our ends up somewhere under your ankles, your calves. And we roll ourselves up to sitting. One more time. Give your legs that well-deserved stretch by stretching over your legs. Good. Now, from here, we're going to Shuffle back perhaps so the roller is right under your ankles. Take your hands back. You can turn your fingers to the side or your fingers more traditionally forwards. Now press down into the roller. The roller will roll slightly away and see if you can lift your hips up. Try and lift out of your shoulders. Inhale, hold. Exhale, lower your hips slowly down. The roller rolls slightly back. Breathe in. Breathe out one more time, lifting yourself up, lengthening. Try not to sink into your shoulders and lower yourself slowly back down. Last time, inhale, exhale, up we come, lift up and slowly release it down. Inhale, reach your arms up to the sky again. And one more time, stretch over your legs, catch your toes. And release. Well done. Good. So now we come onto our hands and knees. And here we place our roller underneath our hands. So we're slightly higher. Good. We're going to inhale to prepare. Exhale. Round in your spine. Curl the tail under. Release your head. Shift your hips back as if you're coming into a child's pose, but keep that feeling of drawing the belly in and up so you're in a really rounded, slightly lifted position. Then we inhale, lift forwards, and then we exhale, extend the spine, lifting the chest forwards and up. Inhale, exhale, curl the tail under the whole spine, comes into a C curve, head comes down, shift your hips back, keeping that internal drawing in and up, inhale here, exhale, come forwards, and then into extension, lengthening the spine, look up forwards, breathing in, breathe out, curl the tail under, round in your spine, shifting back, it's a good release for our wrists here, inhale, Exhale, come forwards and lengthening into extension. Breathe in last time. Breathe out, curl the tailbone under, releasing the head forwards. Sit back. And this time you can let go and you can stretch your spine out. You can reach those arms forwards. You might get a nice stretch for your shoulders. Keep the head part of the spine so the head is still between your arms. Feeling the length through the armpits, the arms and the sides of your body. Great. Lift yourself forwards. And now lie down on your tummy. And we're going to place the roller under our wrists. So we stretch the arms out. Palms face each other. Your arms are as wide as your shoulders. The roller is right underneath your wrist. And then allow the head to come between your arms. Lengthen your tailbone to the heels. Inhale. Exhale. Keeping the arms nice and long. Imagine you're plucking the arms deeper into the shoulder sockets. You're drawing your shoulder blades down. We're pressing into that roller, lifting our head and chest. 
It's pretty low, it's not very high. We inhale, hold. As you exhale, we let it go, we release. And here comes that lovely release of stretching the arms forwards. And your shoulders are moving up to the ears a little bit. Inhale, exhale. The arms are drawing into the shoulder sockets. The shoulder blades are drawing down the back of the ribcage. We're pressing down to help facilitate the extension. Lift the chest and head. Inhale. Exhale, releasing it back down. One last time. Inhale. Exhale. Arms, shoulder blades, chest, head. Lengthen. And release it back down. Good. You, you might repeat this for three more times or as a variation, you can try this with me. You place the roller much closer towards your elbows now. So your arms are much more over the roller. Inhale here. And then exhale. This one is a little bit different in that you are going to bend your elbows and it just takes you that little bit higher up. Please make sure that your lower backs are absolutely comfortable with this. And then release it out and stretch out along. So you can always repeat the previous version. Inhale. Exhale. Same idea. Shoulders drawing down. Lifting up. We're pressing into the roller to help us lift. And release. Stretching out long. One last time. Breathe in. Breathe out. Arms into the shoulder sockets. Shoulder blades down, lifting up, and release it down. Release the arms, bring the hands underneath your shoulders. We push ourselves all the way up, come into a child's pose, and this time just take your arms beside you, relax your shoulders. Just take a short moment here, inhale. And exhale. Wonderful. Good. Now we have a lovely hip flexor stretch that ties in nicely with the stretch we had earlier when we were lying on the roller with our hips on the roller and we stretched our leg out. So this one, we're going to step our right foot forwards and then we'll try and position the roller just under our knee. So it should feel comfortable, it should feel like a nice support. Now stretch your arms up if you feel balanced, or you can keep your hands onto your hips. We think about the table reaching down, lengthening the front of the hips. And then with that roller, we can just very little bit move it. So we can push it back slightly to increase the tension. So you can stay with your arms down, you can stretch your arms up, Feel free to place your arms into a position that assists your stretch. Good. Place your hands down to the mat. Now to swap, if we sweep our right leg back, place it already on the roller, and then your left foot comes forward. So the roller is just kind of behind your kneecap, just there's a little groove, you can place it in there. Lift yourself up. Again, Almost think about a pelvic curl, that tailbone gently encroach it down and under. Front of the hips lift. Arms in any position where it's helpful for you. Maybe that right leg that's on the roller, you can push it a little bit back to increase the stretch down the front of the leg. Stay here for one more breath. Good, well done. We release our hands down. We can sweep our left foot all the way back. Now from here, we'll transition onto our feet. And then we are going to bring our roller with us. So pick up your roller and very slowly, relaxed head, relaxed shoulders, roll yourself all the way up to standing. Good. Now we're standing with our feet hip distance. Inhale, reach the roller up towards the sky. Being mindful that you're not arching your back, you're not pushing your hips forwards. You're lengthening out of your waist. And then bend the elbows, bring the roller to the top of the head 
and reach with the top of the head into your roller. Inhale, reach the arms up. Exhale, bend. Inhale, reach. Exhale, bend. Inhale, reach. Bring the roller all the way down in front of you. Follow the roller. Gently releasing the head forwards. Rolling yourself forwards and down. You may soften your knees. Parking your roller in front of you. Inhaling, releasing your spine. Exhale, press into the floor. Roll yourself up to standing. Roll your shoulders up towards your ears. And circle your shoulders back and down. And that's you done for today. Thank you so much for joining me. Hope to see you soon.